drop! Hello everyone and welcome to the Illegal Gaming Chop Shop. I'm Wokey and I'm here with Zenrot. Hi guys. Still can't get over that opening, huh? No, it, it catches me off guard every time. That's what I love. I also love uh, if, if we ever get more guests in here is that they're going to have to experience it. Because <laughs> very few people <laughs> know the opening of the show. Oh, that's true. I have no idea what's happening. Yeah, so just keep getting people in. It goes like, oh yeah, we just talk about video games, and it st starts that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're here today because uh, we were originally going to do something with Final Fantasy, which we were going to do in the past. Well, we're going to do in the future. I mean, man, that was a weird fuck up on my part. Either way, we're going to do it eventually. <laughs> But it's going to happen. It's going to happen, I swear. But first, we decided to do something on Jump Force because they decided to roll out uh, four of the alleged 12. I assume there's 12. Yeah. Yes, L look out for the 12. Look out for the 12. And apparently that was like a, an actual like warning. Hey, look out because apparently there's yeah. some real <laughs> shit coming in. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't mean, hey, there's 12 characters. He meant seriously. Look out, because this is terrible. <laughs> These are the 12 bringers of the apocalypse. What will eventually destroy all hype for Jump Force. <laughs> so, Zen, can you can you please tell us the four? Because I just remember one of them, and the rest are like white static Walking noise. Sorry yes. right for the traumatic uh, experiences I'm about to dredge back up. But uh, So we got Kakashi. From Naruto. These are all from Naruto. Mm -hmm. Got Kakashi, Gara, Kaguya, and Boruto. Boruto <laughs> is the. So here's the one Fucking thing. Boruto. Fucking Boruto. And here's the other thing is apparently they consider Boruto not a Naruto character and actually from Boruto, which I guess is fair. Yes, from his own series, Boruto. I guess that's fair, but it, in my mind, that feels like saying, like, yo. This Dragon Ball uh, character is different from this Dragon Ball Z character. It feels like it's the exact same thing, but I guess it is 100% is the exact same thing. Yeah, it's playing off of like all of the history of Naruto, but whatever. Boruto is in... in the show. He's an extremely important character in the show. Either way, he made it in there along with other Naruto. <laughs> okay, let's start. We're just gonna start with dumping straight up on Boruto. I, as a person, <laughs> do not like Boruto. I li I dislike him so much that it stopped me from continuing on with Boruto when I was like, well, it's a new start. Maybe, you know, I'll check it out and see where it goes. And he was so unlikable from chapter one, on the go, on the gun. I was just like, I don't want to deal with this kid anymore. <laughs> I just can't I'm handle over this kid. I can't. Yeah, I'm, I'm fu I fundamentally hate Boruto as an idea. Not just as a character. His existence uh, upsets me. Yeah, it's it's on a well. It feels like, you know how they always joke about like, oh man, Gohan was supposed to be the main character, but then, you know, uh, he changed his mind and then it's Goku again. This feels like the extreme of that of like, imagine if, uh, if in Dragon Ball Z started and Kid Gohan seriously was just the new protagonist from the jump. Like there's... <laughs> No more following Goku. Goku is in the background fighting dudes, but it's all focused on Kid Gohan. That's what feels like Boruto to me. It's like, here's this guy who I really like, and he's always in the background, and I have to just deal with his kid for a bit. Yeah, I have to just deal with his shitty child. Yes. And according to people who still read Boruto, but you can't trust them because they continue to read Boruto, Boruto currently is actually pretty decent. The thing is, is that it's just something that I don't trust in them. Yeah, if you read Boruto this long, I think that there's at least a fundamental issue with, with believing you. There's a Stockholm Syndrome. Like, it's one of those things of like, I have to see it to believe it, but then for me to see it to believe it, I have to read it, and that's just not going to happen. And so I'm not going to do it, right. Yeah. So obviously the Boruto fans are super happy, but then apparently not everyone else. <laughs> Everyone else is kind of different levels of like, I can't believe this fucking guy got in. Yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. Uh, even Naruto fans are like, what the fuck is this? 
Yeah, so the other characters, which we will now delve into, the female character is the villain at the end, right? That's what I think. Yeah, she is the final bad guy, unless you count Sasuke. Um, She is the final villain of Naruto. Yeah, and then we have Gaara and Kakashi. And Gaara has always been kind of like a... Yeah, people like him a bunch. And same thing goes for Kakashi. So they're on... I want to say that they're at least on a piccolo level of like, I didn't actually expect these people to make it into the game. But okay. I think Kakashi you would, would be even a little bit higher than that. I, oh. I think of the Naruto characters to get in, I think he he was one of the ones on the list that people were thinking could have gotten in. Hmm. It was like Kakashi... Madara Sakura kind of thing. Mm. All right, I think that's fair. I just feel like in my mind, uh, this is back in my dreams paradise where I was like, well, they're going to limit the roster. I would think it would be Naruto, Sasuke, and Madara, and that would be it. But then I forget that that's not the world we live in. So, of course. No, we live in the shitty real world where all the popular series get like 12 characters each. Yeah. And so I think, like, there's just, like, the... I don't like the approach they have. The, I think the approach they do of, like, let's just release a bunch of characters from one series and one, like, shotgun blast and let's get people hype. Is yeah, the, it's weird, right? Like, why wouldn't you mix them up? Yeah. And again, this is something we discussed in the last time we talked about Jump Force. It's the... Uh, sm- like, if Smash Brothers literally did a um, character reveal and it was five Fire Emblem characters all in once, it would not work. <laughs> They have to be like, okay, well, here's a bunch of other characters like mixed within them to kind of go like, okay, so this guy is coming back. Like when they did the um, Lucina and the Corrin, I want to say it was with Captain Falcon. So at least you go like, okay, at least they're fighting Captain Falcon. So it's a two to one ratio. Uh, it was Lucina and Robin, but close. Yeah, my bad. Lucina and Robin. So it's like, okay, that's a two to one ratio. Captain Falcon and Chrome is like, I'll get in next time. And he's feigning, and it's very cute, and it's very good. Just doing a shotgun blast, though, is just ineffective. Like, if you did, uh, that's why it was real fun when it was like, oh, it's Ken's reveal trailer, and then, oh, it's Incineroar, what the fuck, and now Incineroar's fighting Ken? Right, yeah. And, like, uh, even earlier on, they didn't start the reveals with, like, it's Jump Force. The only characters we revealed are Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji. Like, they didn't do that. No, they didn't. So when you release all, when you well, I guess not release, but when you reveal all the characters only from one series, you've only got like one subset of hyped people. Yes. And then everyone else is like, okay, this, great, great. So and probably and then it did that gets even worse because like now you have people who now that there's enough fan base behind JoJo because at a time. It's funny that when there was a time when not a lot of people noticed JoJo, JoJo's where the character was like, Japan's like, oh, yes, this makes sense. And everyone's like, who the fuck is this guy? Who, What is he doing? And now all of a sudden you actually have legitimate people in like the West and just people know more about JoJo that aren't just Japanese. And now you go like, oh, shit, JoJo. And now they go, no, JoJo, not yet, I guess, or never. Who knows? Uh- I would be extremely surprised if at least Jotaro and Dio did not get in. At this point, yeah, it feels like I really do think it's like them just being again, like I I've, I've mentioned in previous recordings of us, they're just afraid that the uh people behind Dio's estate are just going to come for that money if they hear that they start promoting Dio is in the game and they're like, "Excuse me?" And then, like all well, these, I don't, I don't think it's that because they censor a lot of the names in all of the Western release. Like all the anime dubs still calls him Dio. Yeah, they do call him Dio, and Dio is like the one example of he's like the one remnant of actual like rock star thing you can look at and go like, okay, obviously he's actually named after a dude, but that's also a legitimate name. So either they're one, they're afraid, which is seems silly because they've been able to get away with it this long, or two, they're literally just waiting for the end. Or three, the worst case example, they're DLC. And they're going like, get your pre-order bonus DLC characters right here, Jotaro and Dio. So that's a worry I'm starting to have, uh, not just for jo- uh, Jotaro and Dio, but also for guys like Madara. Um, that they're going to keep releasing like these so-so characters like Piccolo and Trunks and Cell and whatever 19th fucking One Piece character is going to get in and Renji and shit. Tony, and then Tony they're Chopper. gonna be like, oh, and by the way, the DLC, Jotaro, Dio, Madara, like every character that everyone actually really wanted. 
yeah. Suna from Hitman Reborn going to be DLC. Oh, that'd be such a... That's actually more of a killer if it's the DLC are one-off characters that, you know, should be in a game that, again, is supposed to be celebrating Jump. That is supposed to be celebrating Weekly Shonen Jump. <laughs> should There should be more representation. Yeah, it's weird that this is Jump Force, meaning Shonen Jump, right? Yes. Now, in the West, I know that a lot of people who, like, are very casual anime viewers... And they just watch like Dragon Ball and Naruto. I know that there's a decent subset of them that would not recognize Shonen Jump like as its own thing. Yeah, they're just they're just TV shows. They just watch Naruto. They're, they're no different than like uh, Teen Titans or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. or Avatar, something like that. Yeah, so it's definitely. weird to call your game Jump Force based on Weekly Shonen Jump, and then only put in really popular anime characters from the past like ten years. Yeah, and it feels like that's the only thing that they've been doing for a while. And then, like, all the weird, obscured guys. Like, it, the, and now it seems like Yugi and City Hunter guy are going to be, like, the weird exceptions of, like, well, we needed some weird characters, so we're getting... Well, I mean, Yugi's fucking popular, though. He is popular, but... City also... Hunter guy is the only one... City Hunter guy is, like, the one character that I look at, and I'm like, What? Yes. Not City- because I don't think City Hunter deserves to get in, because obviously City Hunter is really big, but I just mean like, in comparison to all the other characters they're putting in the game and the way that they've handled the game, City Hunter is the one that makes this. Yeah, he's a uh, basically a like big thorn in the paw when you look at someone's hand. Like it, the hand looks pretty good, and then there's a giant ass like thorn in it. He's the thorn that makes you go like, why is it like this? Like. If they're building towards something, why have... If they're only going for the popular guys, then why is City Hunter in it? It's one of those... Yeah, he, he is the character that I look at and I'm like, so why the fuck is Jotaro not in this yet? <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? And I feel like the the more they keep doing the batch release of All From One series, the harder that problem is going to be. And let's assume, again, assuming that there are eight characters left, that means... And that let's assume that no more bleach one piece naruto or dragon ball z characters are going to be added who are those final eight and we can assume at least two of those are jotaro and dio if it's going to be if there's going to be anyone from jojo like they're going to get for they're going to go for the big guys they're not going to go for like yeah we're going to add uh whamu and fucking jonathan from part seven that's not what they're going to do <laughs> they're going to go for right. the big guys but then that leaves six so then in the final six, is it all... I mean, it could be anybody. People, a lot of people are asking for Kaiba. Kaiba would be great. I've seen a, a lot of uh, clamor that people want. Um, Can you say it again? Oh, sorry. I said, uh, yeah, a lot of people have been clamoring for Kaiba. Yeah. Like yeah. Seto Kaiba yeah. from Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, a lot of people are clamoring for Meruem. Uh, That's a Hunter Hunter uh, character. Hunter Hunter. And Hunter Hunter is one that is kind of sliding under the radar. Because, you know, people are like, oh, it's bullshit that Naruto and Bleach and Dragon Ball are getting all these characters. But I think Hunter Hunter has five characters already. They do. They they don't want to remember Hunter Hunter because they also have the one with the shittiest looking character, which is the unfortunate Kurapika that looks like someone. Oh, put that a, Kurapika is rough, man. It's really rough. That's why people are choosing not to remember it because that Kurapika <laughs> goes into their mind and they're like, holy shit, Jump Force looks ugly as fuck. So, yeah, that's. So, again. Yeah, Hunter 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 is another series that could get another character, and then so when you start to realize like of the remaining characters, there's just not a lot of people left. So it's really not. Um, the only yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. There's just not much left when you start getting out. I mean, unless you're gonna fill in those other rosters. Like I, I there was a big hubbub a while ago on Twitter that um, Meruem was gonna be. And you can never tell if it's real or not because the guy who leaks Jump Force stuff is like the worst leaker ever. And he'll intentionally just like leak shit and then be wrong and then be like, ha ha, trolled y'all. So it's like, I don't know if anything you say matters or not. My favorite. But there was a big hubbub on Twitter where Meruem was so heavily hinted that it couldn't possibly have been anybody else. So I'm willing to count him as one of them for right now.
Yeah, and then from there, I don't. It where the options are limited, and then also it gets worse when you realize like, okay, we can. I'm just gonna say right now, we can all assume Sydney Hunter will only have one character, but that yeah. does not leave out the fact that you know Yu Gi Oh is popular. So if they have Yu Gi, then you kind of want Kaiba as well, and then Fist of the North Star is also kind of popular. So. Uh, you could also see maybe one more character like Rao. You could definitely see Rao from Fist of the North Star go in there or someone else from there. And then Rioni Kenshin is also another series where it's like, mm, maybe they could fit one more character. So that's the problem that we're starting Kenshin to run into. Kenshin already has two. I think Kenshin is done. You think Kenshin is done with two? I think is Kenshin is done. Yu Yu Hakusho is a surprising one that only has two. And uh, I supposedly uh, that's the only two they're getting. I, I, I've heard that there's no there's radio silence coming out about any other Yu Hakusho character, which is strange because of how popular it was back in the Golden Trio days. Yeah, it is weird. Especially when you think about the 90s ones and then Dragon Ball is the one that's the most represented out of all of them. But I guess that it also starts getting weird because Dragon Ball also is continuing on where Yu Yu Hakusho and Ryon... Kenshin tried to come back. I'm not sure if it's actually back anymore. It's still back, yeah. Okay, so Kenshin is back and... um. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho is coming back, but that's also a limited, like, a limited thing. Because... It was just, it was just two things. They're already out. They're really good, by the way. All right, so check that out. Uh, and there's no way that that's coming back in manga form because that guy's back will not support him for the making of Hunter Hunter. No, so... no, he'll, he'll, he won't finish Hunter Hunter. I don't. No, it sure feels like he's not going to finish Hunter Hunter, which is unfortunate because it's, uh, yeah. it, it's a health problem <laughs> that he well, has. He said that if he's unable to finish, um, his wife is going to finish, who was the mega... For Sailor Moon, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, you have you could have worse people taking your mega... Yeah, I think she's perfectly fine to finish, especially, you know, if, you know, God forbid we enter that situation, I think she would do perfectly fine um but yeah just i don't know man i just don't know what to think about jump force anymore and then it gets even more murkier when you enter the fact of like it's a modern day fighting game there's gonna be dlc there's oh like, yeah 100 percent. there's gonna be a dlc yeah and they're the fact that they're not showing their dlc now makes me feel like whoever they have in dlc is one that's gonna cause a shitstorm, and they're not gonna reveal it until the game is close to being out I think the DLC gets revealed like right around the same time as the game releases, maybe even a little bit later. Yeah. And I, I definitely think that whoever is the initial DLC, the immediate, why the fuck was he not in the base game instead of whoever the fuck this guy is? Oh, uh, yep. And that's a situation that they've created them for themselves because they've added characters like Trunks, like Cell, like Piccolo, like Gara, like so many others. <laughs> That I can't even continuously yeah, like, name. Think about think about the the way that Smash is, right? And Smash people this endless thing that no matter who you put in, you're gonna have people saying, "Why the fuck is this character out of the Hedgehog or whatever?" Mm -hmm. You know. Now realize that you're doing the same thing, Shonen Jump, which is the most popular Shonen manga ever. You know, no matter what you do, you're gonna have people, "Why the fuck?" Did you put in board? You're trying to sell me Madara after the fact. Yep. Yep. It's 100% going to be that way. So if you're. And also, that apparent there's a beta going on, and the beta you can't get into. So that's just classic. Doesn't Bandai. work. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't work. work. <laughs> yeah. Shocker. Bandai beta that doesn't fucking work. If they can't get. It's, if they haven't figured out how to get Xenoverse to get with good online, and then Fighter Z, the thing that's actually like legitimate in like a fighting game sense good netcode don't expect this game to have good netcode either yeah uh so another thing is i swear to god if anyone comments well it's just a beta no go fuck yourself it's happened so many times <laughs> like we can't it's not just a beta when it's when they release that shit 20 days before release of the game the game is done the game is done they're not what are they gonna tweak that shit and then overnight ship it to every like store in the world the game is done yeah what you're getting right now is what you're getting. And yeah, after release, the servers will probably stabilize because everyone stops trying to play the game. Like, realistically, that's what it is. Yep. A bunch of people are going to get the game day one. 
and they're going to crash the shit out of it, like hardcore. Like day one, you're going to struggle to get in, I think. Mm-hmm. And then within a week, it will stabilize because people will have given up already. Yeah, I can expect that from Drum Force. It's the same way it's been for every single one of their games. And I mean, you even have people that are really excited for it. Like you look at uh, Dino, like Rhyme Style's Twitter, and he's even like, why do I feel like this game is going to fucking die? Like, they're just not doing a good job. No, they're not. They're like... Especially because there was a point, I want to say, when Yugi was released where people were like, okay, so maybe they are going to be really weird characters. These This art style isn't the greatest, and sometimes people look just like weird, fake, and plasticky, but maybe there's something for this game to go forward. And then since then, it's just been a steady decline of like, here's all these guys, and here's all these guys, and it's like, damn... So just these series, huh? Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, you're like, like right that Yugi was the point where people were like, oh, cool. We, we're not just going to get, like, generic battle shonen protagonists. Like, you know, they're not all going to be fucking Kenshiro's yeah. that are getting in the game. And so that was cool. And then we've got none of the popular sports anime are in there. Um, and then it's all been, like, One Piece of Naruto and Dragon Ball ever since Yugi. Yep. Yep. And I feel like ever since the launch of this game, like, I think they've fucked up because when people saw that original trailer, here was the exact thought process. Wow, this looks kind of ugly. And then, holy shit, it's Light. And Light was the guy who you made you go like, wait, what the fuck? Light's going to be fighting these guys? And then, uh, like, maybe even four hours later, the guy's like, by the way, Light's not actually, um... He's yeah, you can't in, play as him. You can't play as so Light. They're like, well, then, fuck off. Like, and like, everyone's like, of course Light can't fight. What would he do? But, like, fuck you. Who cares? It's a video game. Exactly. Like, think there's been literal Shonen Jump fighting games where you characters you would not expect to be fighters were fighters. So, Like, why not just have him do something where he'll write their name in the book and the book will shoot out projectiles? Oh, so you could do a- anything. Rhea could fight for him. Ryu yeah. could fight like Dark Magician fights for Yugi. It could be anything, and people would be hype as shit. But they're like, no, we got to keep it uh, canon. This man can't fight. Yugi can fight. He can summon hologram monsters with his dual discs that will fight Goku. But uh, Light, nope. Yeah, Light, just not going to happen. And I think from then, you it, that was the early signs of like, this maybe isn't doesn't have the right mindset. Whatever mindset it has, it's a broken one. <laughs> one that doesn't yeah, want to see confusing because they're not even like trying to really advertise their newer shows either like at first i thought that's where they were going to go like i thought we were going to get this dump of my hero academia we got one we just got midoriya yeah and we have black asta. clover all we have is asta even fucking boruto it's just boruto i would have liked to see in uh emma from the promised neverland even though it would be really funny because she's just a tiny girl <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. I have a that's feeling. Not gonna uh, happen. No, it's gonna end up being some combination of. There's at least, I think, one more Naruto character left, in my opinion. Um, I think we there's a chance we'll see another Dragon Ball character. I'm not sold on that, but after the Boruto reveal, it's like fuck. <laughs> I I don't even know. So you're saying get, um, get ready for Broly. I I legitimately, I don't think it's going to happen, but there is this tiny nagging doubt in the back of my head that is like, you better get ready to go Broly because Broly is coming. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel too. But we'll, again, we'll see. We'll see what it is. Also, if there are anyone wondering, how would you have uh, Emma in there? I would totally just have her double pistols and she is just shooting everyone i don't give a fuck if it doesn't make sense that goku can deflect (laughs) bullets this little girl would be running around and point blank shooting goku in the head and it won't matter because they're already fighting in like a universe where they're in the united states of america so who fucking cares (laughs) let me have yeah so upsetting it is it's not the only upsetting part the backgrounds are beautiful have you ever looked at like the maps? I yes, I I have before. I think they those are look amazing. They look so good. And then you put those janky ass fucking character models in there that all look like shit. They look like you remember 
<laughs> before, right? Say it again. You've been to Toys R Us before, right? Yes. Yes. You know the freaky life-size statues of Jeffrey the Giraffe they always had in there? Yes. That is what every Jump Force character looks like. <laughs> it does look like that. <laughs> never... They look like you could knock on them, and they would like they would sound like plastic, like a like a big old thick plastic. Statue. Yeah, they just don't look. They have a quality that's like. Do you remember the Cartoon Network Ben Ten movies? Yes. It kind of looks like that. Where it's like, well, obviously these are the characters. This is how they look like, and then for some reason you've made them look as bootleg as possible. When right, trying, it, it just is weird. And then, God, have you played any of the betas? Did you uh, get into the closed beta? I still don't have my PS4 on me. <laughs> right, I keep forgetting that. Yeah, that's ugly. Um, the combat effects are a fucking nightmare. It's so hard to follow what's happening. You have to. Get- used to like the way that combat flows and you just act without seeing stuff because shit will go off and there's just mess all over the fucking screen Hmm. like the evasion you flip out but you leave like a sparkly pink trail that's just distracting so like marvel versus capcom 3 minus being able to understand what's actually going on that and it's a fucking it, it it's like a janky slow arena fighter it's not like Xenoverse where at least movement is kind of fluid. Mm-hmm. You just kind of run around or you have a dash button that dashes right at them. But it, it, your dash gauge is also how you get out of combos. So if you use it too much to move around, you can't protect yourself. Hmm. Man. It's just weird. And of course, uh, once again, it should not be three characters. It should be two characters. Yeah, especially if they're gonna have shared health bars, it's like yeah, it, it's too many char- too many characters, and the health bar is not enough. If if you're gonna do it, um, it's got to be like you gotta up the health. Mm-hmm. Even if it's like a shared health bar, you you gotta up the health. It's not enough. You know what's also crazy to me is that uh, especially that now that I remember it is that old um. Like, Shonen Jump games used to have that. Like, they used to have, like, 3v3, but they all shared a health bar. But, I mean, they didn't share a health bar. They all had their own separate health bar. So, I don't understand why they don't do that for these guys. It just feels weird to me. It feels like, um... What are those... One of those SNK... No, is it Tekken Tag Team where if one character dies, then the whole team dies? But even then, they still... Uh, I think Street Fighter Cross Tekken does that, too. They do that, too. But still, they both had separate health bars. So then there was two things to take care of, of like, okay, this character's low on health, but at least this one still has uh, some health there. And even like stuff like a mobile game Legends has, like everyone has their own health bar, so I don't understand what they're going for. No, Legends has a bar. Oh, no, no, you're right. They all have their own health bar. Why do yeah. I think they had a shared health bar? You're fucking right. Yeah. What are you doing? I, again, what are the, you fucking doing? The mobile game, the one that's like, uh a mobile fighting game has understood what 3v3 should be before the console game god it's and like i swear to god they only did a 3v3 because dragon ball fighters is 3v3 and people like that game that's the only uh like even if it is the only reason why they did that like <laughs> they should have took it wholesale even they have three separate health bars yeah yeah, if you're going to make it 3v3 and you only have one health bar, there needs to be some benefit to tagging out. There's no reason to tag, ever, that I'm aware of, at least. It's only if you want to use another character. You don't heal character. at all when you tag. You don't recover anything. You just switch characters. I guess the idea behind it is, like, you counter it. So you maybe would have a melee-focused one, and then you would have a ranged one. But currently, the game isn't, like... I don't know if it's, like, built with that kind of, like, okay... Well, I need a ranged fighter. I need a melee fighter. Well, but then, who the fuck is the third also, one? Also, part of the problem is you can't pick who you tag to. Wait, you can't pick who you tag to? No, it's a, it's a circle. So character one only tags to character two. Two only tags to character three. Or three only tags to character one. That's some weird, like, Dokkan shit. It's terrible. It's, it's terrible. Because... The assist button and the tag button are the same button. You just have to hold you, one in? And you hold to use the assist, which is terrible because it really should be the other way around. Yeah, it should be the other way around. But 
so when you uh, when you accidentally tag, you never get back to your first character because it takes a, 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 you have to focus on just tagging to cycle all the way back through to your first character. Hmm. That's weird. That's really weird. And that's just kind of what Jump Force is now. It's a really weird game. Really weird, yeah. And it sucks because I really want to be excited for it. Because what the gameplay itself, in terms of like fighting each other, was pretty solid. It, it was. It felt like it wasn't one of those weird anime games where like you throw a shit zillion punches and kicks and the characters just like jiggle a little bit and then they fly away. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Xenoverse level shit. Yeah. It felt good. Blows had weight to the movement was sluggish, but it, it felt heavy, so it felt like your character was there. They're not just floating around doing... But the visuals are so bad, and the roster decisions are so bad. Yeah. It And again, it's, it is, we would not be talking about it unless we both felt like there was some need to play it. Like, there was some want of just, like, straight up, I want this game, and now... Yeah, I want to fucking play it! And like, you can't because it's just a fucking mess, man. And I think I, I, I'm gonna probably get it. Um, realistically, I probably will get it. If I uh, have my PS4 at that time, I'll think about getting it. <laughs> right. Um. So, like, the big thing for me is if JoJo gets in, uh, and odds are I will get the game. I, I think that's pretty safe. If JoJo doesn't get in, and the rest of these character announcements suck. Uh, there's a real chance that I might like wait for it to go down in price because they were talking about it on Twitter today, and I realized they were right. There's no game modes announced for the game. It's story mode or fighting against somebody, and that's it. That's... There's nothing else to do. What are you going to fucking do? The, the story is going to be fucking dog shit, I'm sure. It's a Shonen Jump crossover where they go to the real world. It's going to suck ass. And Light so... is somehow behind it all. Yeah, Light Yagami the, is gonna. It's the fucking villain. It's just. It's gonna be terrible. But then you either play that, or you just fight people. And it's not a game like Dragon Ball Fighters where it's like a fighting game where you fight people. It's like it's in a janky arena fighter. So there's only so much of that. Me personally, like I can take. Like arena fighters are fun for a bit, but they wear on me. Like like nothing else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, I don't know. I mean, Jump Force sure as shit ain't showing up at Evo. You know what I mean? It'd be hilarious if it did. Something has to replace it Fighter Z. Funny if it did, but it ain't happening. Something has to replace Fighter Z. <laughs> Why not Jump Force? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So again, we're gonna keep. I I feel like for the next time they do it, we're gonna have to do something again. But we'll see if the ne- either, hopefully the whatever next batch of characters is something that's like, oh, man, finally, some good decisions in these character reveals. But also, I just have a feeling that it's not going to be that way. My, my worst case scenario is the next four characters are literally one One Piece, one DBZ, one Naruto, and then one Bleach. And then they go, God, All right. how funny would that be? How funny would that be if it was like... Uh... Uh, why am I blanking out on these ser- series characters? If it was like Nico Robin, Chad, um, yeah, Chad, Tony, Tony Chopper, and <laughs> fucking Broly, those are their four. Congrats. <laughs> I think I had left, I accidentally said two One Piece characters. Uh, you did. We're missing a Naruto character. It'll be fucking uh, Sakura's daughter. Oh, no, that's a Baruto character. It's gonna be. Oh, It'll be uh, the Pre- the teacher chapter one of Naruto that, Aruka? that is his friend. Yeah, Iruka. It'll be Iruka. I was gonna say pre time skip Choji, like every other. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be Butterfly Choji, and that's it. Like, yeah, but even I feel like Choji's too much of a like weird character. They would have to actually think about how to use Choji, so maybe Iruka would make most sense. Because <laughs> he's generic. Because he's literally just a ninja man. Like, all he does is throw a giant ass shuriken. <laughs> but yeah. <sighs> Thanks again for joining us for another episode of the Legal Game Chop Shop where we talk. No, wait, this is Zen's part. Zen! <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you guys for joining us for the Illegal Gaming Chop Shop, where we talk non-stop shop about the cream of the gaming crap. Have a good night, everybody. I remember this time. Nice. I didn't even get